November is an important month for recognising violence against women and doing something about it. On the 20th of November, it's White Ribbon Day, and as a community, we will stand up and say no to domestic violence. Five days later, on the 25th of November, it's International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. And on this day, we mark the start of 16 days of activism, a global campaign that runs until Human Rights Day on the 10th of December. In previous years, we've come together as a community and walked from Queenscliff to Manly. But due to COVID, this year will be different. We won't be able to gather as a large group and walk but we can still recognise the issues and find ways to stand up together and take action. I'm here with Chief Inspector Michael Buderides and Trish Bramble from Manly Warringah Women's Resource Centre, who both have plenty of first-hand experience supporting women on the Northern Beaches who are victims of physical, sexual and psychological abuse. And Chief Inspector, you are literally on the front line when it comes to domestic violence. Can you help explain to the community the scale of the problem? Yes, it's a myth that this type of violence doesn't happen here on the Northern Beaches. In reality, the rates of domestic violence are consistent across other areas of Sydney and New South Wales. In fact, we have six officers dedicated to domestic violence, which gives you an idea of the enormity of the issue. Trish, I understand the impacts of COVID have made situations worse for families locally. Look, um, for us, we've seen it, um, a huge increase and the challenges for services to meet the demand in the local area has had a significant increase and um, it's really challenging for services to meet the demand of the women. So Trish, what support is available locally? Oh look, on the Northern Beaches we've got two services, one for families with children and one for single women. Um, if those um, services are full, we always provide, there is no wrong door. So anyone looking for support will always be offered support, whether that's accommodation, referral, temporary accommodation. So women and children who are leaving will always be supported within the context of um, what they're looking for. And that's the 1800 RESPECT number? 1800 RESPECT or the DV line. And also the council has a fantastic website for women on the northern beaches to look at services that um, they may need to um, approach. Excellent. Chief Inspector, anything further you wish to add? Yes, the impact of domestic violence isn't confined to households. It's a community issue. I encourage people to call the police. If they see something, they should say something. And that's a really good message. Call triple zero. If you hear something, see something, don't be afraid to call the police. They are there to help in every situation. So please step up and call triple zero if you see or hear anything. Don't be afraid. So Trish, what can we all do on November 20 to acknowledge the importance of this day? We're encouraging people to mark the day by grabbing a friend or two, wearing a white shirt and taking a walk together to raise the awareness of the issue. While you're out walking, post an image on social media with hashtag Beaches Say No. Trish, that sounds great. I do look forward to seeing all of you in white shirts on November 20 and getting out there and connecting far and wide for this fantastic campaign.